Welcome to a new question of the day. In a previous video, we were able to detect different chocolate consumer profiles using agglomerative hierarchical clustering, or AHC. Today we ask, how can we describe or characterize these profiles using the original variables, or even supplementary variables, such as age? The answer with parallel coordinates plot. We will use a childhood consumption survey data set. The data have already been described in the video on AHC. We will just add one variable characterizing the surveyed people, age. This variable is quantitative. We have performed an AHC on the survey data. The analysis generated this dendrogram that clearly displays two groups of consumers with distinct profiles. To a lesser extent, we can also split the consumers into three or four groups if we wish so. Here we will split the dendrogram into three groups and we'll describe these groups using a parallel coordinates plot. Let's get back to the result report obtained after the AHC in the previous video. We will first link each consumer to the corresponding group label. Click on the relaunch button on top of your result report. In the options tab, activate truncation then select Number of Classes, and enter from 3 to 3. In the new report, you will see the dendrogram split into three parts colored differently. Further down, in the Results per Object section, you will find the affiliation of each consumer to the corresponding segment. Copy the Class column and paste it on the initial dataset on the right. We have identified the membership of each consumer to a segment. In order to describe these segments, we could compute descriptive statistics on each variable within each segment. The parallel coordinates plot offers a more global vision of these descriptive statistics. Go to Visualizing Data and select Parallel Coordinates Plot. Select columns B to H in the Quantitative Data field. In the Groups field, select your Class column, and then click OK. Your Parallel Coordinates Plot will appear. Each segment is represented with a different color. Each vertical section corresponds to a descriptive variable. Segment number 3, in green, is characterized by consumers who are relatively young, sensitive to price while not so sensitive to the brand. They have a low affinity for online shopping and appreciate frozen chocolates. Segment number 2, in blue, can be described by older consumers who are loyal to the brand but not so sensitive to the price. They prefer bitter chocolates. This particular study allows us to better refine marketing-related decisions. Using a parallel coordinates plot, we were able to quickly describe individual classes with several variables. In an upcoming question of the day, we will talk about another clustering method, k-means. See you soon.